hence the problem. Chair, I want to move a motion now, and I'll explain uh, after I've moved it, that the committee report to the House that it calls on the government to prohibit any government employee from simultaneously working as an external contractor. That is a matter at hand motion. I've sent an embargoed copy to the clerk who can distribute it. Thank you. Just one second, please. What's members, an embargoed copy? Me members, uh, members have received uh, that motion. And I certainly welcome all members to uh, send motions to the clerk before they are tabled just to move things along. You're not, of course, required to do so, but uh, it, does, it does prevent. Uh, and, and again, uh, you do so, the, the, the clerk will process it. Um, and in this case, uh, as in others embargoed, I, uh, I, not, I, I won't know about it particularly when I'm doing my job up here, but it does help move things uh, along. So we have a motion on the floor. I see Ms. Shanahan, your hand is up. Sorry, I, I, I want to speak to it as well. Uh, okay, Very pardon me, Ms. Shanahan. I'm going to go back to Mr. Generous. Ms. Shanahan, is this, uh, I'll, come back to, I'll come to you in a, in a moment, uh, Ms. Shanahan. I, Mr. Generous is correct. He did not relinquish the floor. Ms. Generous, the Point floor Point of order, short. Mr. Chair? Yes, Ms. Khalid. Um, I believe Ms. Shanahan's hand was up. The motion yes, is I, still Ms. being Ms. Yes, uh, Ms. Khalid, distributed I, to members, and I would appreciate hearing from uh, Ms. Shanahan as before we... As would I, and as I corrected myself, Mr. Genius was clear. He was not relinquishing the floor. He just was signaling to make sure members had the motion so they could review it as he Don't. was talking to it. So, Ms. Genius, you have the floor, after which I will go to Ms. Sh happily go to Ms. Shanahan. Over to you, Mr. Genius. Uh, uh, thank, thank you, Chair. Um, the... Motion that I have moved deals with the situation uh, that, that we have recently heard about in the Arrive scam scandal, uh, which is that one of the contractors uh, was given $7.9 million as part of the Arrive Can process. Uh, and, uh, you know, for, for, for what work, we, we still uh, don't have clarity on. Uh, but uh, the, the, the Arrive scam scandal led to this contractor, Dalian, receiving $7.9 million dollars at the same time as this person uh, was an employee of the Department of uh, Veterans Affairs. The Department of Veterans Affairs, by the way, also gave uh, money to this, uh, this company. So you have, you have a, an, an employee of the government who, whose own department, as well as other departments, uh, is giving uh, money to his contract. Now, this, this, this is absurd. As I said earlier, the reason uh, we, we see any contracting out is based on the idea that the government doesn't have the internal expertise to perform a particular task. So why would the government, uh, contracting out on the basis that they don't have the internal expertise to do something, contract out to someone who is also a government employee? Uh, it, it makes no sense. It allows individuals uh, to double dip. This shouldn't happen. I had asked uh, our witness today directly, are, are there rules that clearly prohibit this practice? Uh, he answered to the committee that, that, um, that there are not rules that clearly prohibit this practice, uh, that, there, that there could be an evaluation around a conflict of interest, uh, but that, uh, it, in, in his words, it is not disallowed. I think it should be disallowed uh, that you have somebody uh, making money both as a government employee and as an external contractor when they're being ex externally contracted on the basis of the alleged lack of lack of internal expertise of government, uh, so I, I I would hope that this motion would have the agreement of the committee, and I think it's important in light of the evidence we've heard to send a clear message to the government uh, that this uh, policy that, that, that this type of practice should no longer be allowed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Genius. Ms. Shanahan, you have the floor. Well, thank you, uh, Chair. And again, uh, we see uh, a colleague, uh, member of this committee, uh, pulling a stunt, whether it's at the top of the meeting or at the uh, end of a meeting, uh, in, in such a way where we're already meeting three times this week. We've met uh, numerous times before, and I'm sure we will continue uh, meeting again. The question was posed uh, to the witness. Uh, regarding um, practices uh, in, uh, in uh, the ethics and uh, uh, conflict of interest that is um, uh, pertinent uh, to government employees, uh, whether they have a dual employment, whether they are working um, uh, somewhere uh, else, whether they have contracts, it's not something uh, that I personally think that we're going to settle in uh, a uh, prescriptive uh, motion of uh, this kind. Uh, we're public accounts. We study 
the Auditor General's report. We look at what has been done and what can be improved. And in fact, it is uh, something that may well merit um, a, a, a larger motion to go to a, a larger study. Uh, I would suggest um, not necessarily and, and uh, very likely not this committee, uh, but uh, I would uh, ask um, Mr. Genuis and other members to please uh, take the time to consult the members of this committee before springing on uh, these kind of last minute uh, motions uh, to us. And uh, with that, Chair, I move to now adjourn. We have a movement to adjourn. Clerk, please call the vote or call the roll call. <clears throat> Shall the committee adjourn? Ms. Bradford. In favor. Ms. Vandenbeld. In favor. Ms. Kelly. Yes. Ms. Shanahan. Yes. Mr. Alcori. Yes. Mr. Genuis. No, absolutely. no, absolutely not. We're in the middle of debate on this important motion. Ms. Block. No. Madame Saint Cloud de Gagny. <clears throat> no. Oh, she, oh sorry. Nope. My, my apologies, Madame Ms. Susie. Susie. Um. Against. Uh, Madame Saint Clair de Gagny. No. Ms. McPherson. No. Five yeas. Five nays. Debate will continue. I'm seeing no, uh, no, uh, <clears throat> no speakers. Clerk, please call the vote. Shall the motion of Mr. Genuis carry? Ms. Bradford. No. Ms. Vandenbeld. No. Ms. Kelly. No. Ms. Shanahan. No. Mr. Alcori. No. Mr. Genuis. Yes. Ms. Block. Yes. Ms. Cousy. In favor. Madame St. Cloud de Gagny. Oui. Ms. McPherson. Yes. Five yeas, five nays. I'll break the tie. I vote uh, to proceed with a motion. Vote in favor. Point of order, Mr. Chair. Yes, Ms. Khalid. I'm just, uh, or maybe clarification, I'm just checking to see how much time we have in the room. I have obviously other obligations in my constituency office. I would love to meet my constituents who've been waiting for me sure. for a while. So just wanting to know how long we're going to spend on this uh, <clears throat> motion. It's just passed, so the motion is done. Uh, Mr. Genius has about 40 seconds remaining. Sorry, in, this in, meeting, I mean. Is, is Mr. Genius has 40 seconds remaining, and then we have Ms. Bradford, and then we will be done. Ms. Genuis. Although I would welcome the extra time, I do believe the rules uh, involve that if I move a motion, I'm, I'm done with my slot. No, I've, I've, I've consulted with the clerk oh, on you? this. You're, you're, you're welcome to end. No, no, Mr. Hupe, has the minister, has your minister, uh, asked any questions, asked for any briefings or information? Have you provided any advice regarding this practice of double dipping uh, of people working uh, as contractors and as employees at the same time? So the minister asked me, as I said earlier, questions about the findings of the Auditor General. I have yet uh, personally to speak to her about, um, about uh, that practice, to be fair. Okay, she, she's she's clearly seen it in the news. I I hope so. You haven't heard from the minister or or been asked for any further information on this particular issue. Not specifically, no. And that is your time, Mr. Genuous. Uh, Ms. Bradford, you have the floor for five minutes uh, to end this out. Over to you, please.
Uh, Ms. Bradford, you're on mute. I believe, yes. Yes. I believe it's, uh, unless Valley wants the time, I believe uh, we made a deal that I would be taking the time. Oh, okay. Absolutely, Ms. Sorry Shanahan. about that. No trouble. Ms. Shanahan, you have, you have the floor, and, uh, and uh, the, the clock's not yet started, so over to you, please. Well, thank you very much. Uh, so, and I, again, um, uh, I welcome the meetings that we are having on this topic. It's a very important topic. Um, it's uh, all about finding out what happened and how uh, the public service can do better as we go forward. I um, am not happy about uh, direct um, uh, prescriptive directions uh, to the public service about what or what uh, should not be done, certainly not uh, prior to a fulsome study on the topic, uh, which is why uh, I and my colleagues voted against uh, the previous motion, which again was sprung on us without uh, prior um, discussion, uh, without looking for a way, which we have done in the past, looking for a way to frame a motion uh, which um, does not normally fall into this um, into this uh, committee's uh, uh, remit, uh, not normally in our mandate, but we have found way working ways working with uh, all the parties to uh, put together a motion that would indeed represent, the wishes of all members of this committee, because this is a committee that works normally on a consensual basis. And it is very disappointing to see it being instrumentalized, used and weaponized uh, by certain members uh, for their own, um, I guess, social media uh, purposes. Uh, but on that note, my concern is, uh, with uh, producing a list of people without any context. And I would like to hear Mr. Hupe and the Auditor General on what they think of this motion. Thank you. Honestly, I, I don't have any comments on the motion. This is outside my, my pay grade here. So I'm gonna leave the system take care of, it, of itself from that perspective. Auditor General. Again, I'm not going to um, tell the committee how to carry out its business. Um, what I can tell you is that there are rules that already exist around public servants needing to disclose whether they have other uh, employment income sources. Um, and it's that disclosure is, is meant to ensure that there isn't a conflict of interest with the duties of a public servant and other duties that they may have. Um, I would argue that um, it's a situation where um, the, the rules need to be enforced. And so it starts with awareness, making sure all public servants are aware that the rules exist, that the disclosure happens, that the dialogue happens between uh, a supervisor and an individual. And then finally, that once a decision is made, whether imp other employment is allowed or not, it's well documented so that there are no situations of ambiguity. Um, that it is very clear that a public servant should not do something that would impede their ability to be objective and fair as they carry out their responsibilities. Well, thank you for that, because I think that is the reassurance that we need, that the rules are in place, that uh, proper procedures uh, be followed, and uh, it, it, it is not for uh, the political arm to start uh, telling uh, the um, uh, to start governing, to start micromanaging uh, the departments and the procedures of the public service. Uh, I think uh, it has been said here before, uh, we have a public service, service that is second to none, which is why it is even more important to find out who are um, uh, who are acting contrary to that, who are the bad apples, and uh, how uh, we need to address uh, those uh, problems going forward further. And um, I am um, chair, I used, did say that this would be the last slot, but I'm afraid I have to move on as well. And so I move that we do now adjourn. Well, you are done. So I, do you want me to take a vote or do you want me to excuse the, wit the, the witnesses? You have moved well, it. So you, you, you've moved it. So, so, so go ahead, clerk. Yeah. 
let's do it. Shall the committee adjourn? Ms. Bradford. Yes. Ms. Vandenbeld. Yes. Ms. Khalid. Ms. Khalid. Apologies of deciding whether I want to, to continue on this very important topic. Um, yes. Ms. Shanahan. Yes. Mr. El Khoury. Yes. Mr. Genua. No. Ms. Block. No. Ms. Cousy. Against. Madame Saint Cloud de Gagny. Oui. Ms. McPherson. Yes. Seven yeas, three nays. I am instructed to adjourn. Thank you for coming. See you tomorrow, Thank you. Yes. <laughs>